Hi, I'm Beth, and I'm back with another episode of How I'm Doing It. Today, I'm going to show you video and pictures of our recent adventure to the Dandridge, Tennessee Scots Irish Festival. In another episode of my YouTube channel, I did an Ancestry DNA kit that showed significant Scots Irish heritage. So, it was an educational experience and a fun experience. I grew up in a small town, so it was so comfortable to me. Such a familiar feel, cozy, familiar feel. Everybody was super friendly, even though we didn't know anyone there. And we had just the best time, the food, the music. In fact, it was the birthday weekend of my high schooler. And when we were at one of the music performances, the band asked the crowd, who has a birthday? And so, or who has had a birthday this whole week? So there was like three people, including my high schooler, who raised their hands. And they played Happy Birthday on the bagpipes. And then they gave each one of them a t-shirt. I mean, how cool is that? It was amazing. There were lots of educational displays. There were vendors. Um... Also, there were dogs. One of the things that they do is they have a dog parade and people bring their well-behaved animals to the, um, to the celebration, the festival. And my kids said, hey, mom, my middle schooler in particular, hey, mom, can we walk up to people and ask if we can pet their dogs? And it was a very kind of um, interactional atmosphere where this would have been okay. So I said, yes, but... And we did go over um, the basics, the fundamentals of consent, asking permission from the owner, and also getting consent from the dog by reading the dog's body language. And if the owner said no, or if the dog looked unhappy, then they would move along. But all the dogs were happy to talk to them. All the owners were happy to talk to my kids about the dogs. Everybody loved it. It was so much fun. The the traditional outfits, the... Um, costume of the era was apparent everywhere. It was just incredibly well done. Um, tons of really wonderful food, traditional American food and Scots-Irish food. Um, also, you'll see that we sat in an area that's up on a dike next to the, ta the town's lake. So there's a lake right there and we climbed all the way up to the top and we had a wonderful view of the lake. So you'll see some fishermen. And then on the other side, you'll see the town area. And so basically you could see the entire town er downtown area where they had the parade and you could, you know, I could keep an eye on the kids. I would hand them a little money. They would go buy an IC or they would go buy a snack or whatever. And I could see them. They could see me. They would come back to me. And we just had a wonderful seat to see everything and the weather was perfect. And what was so fun is my kids started, like kids do, they were curious. They said, hey, can we slide down this hill? And I said, oh, I don't know if that's, you know, something that's really acceptable here in this community. So, um, but pretty soon I saw that it is. It's a very heavily encouraged thing. And the kids, I said, yes, you can do it and join in the other kids. There were not just kids doing it. There were grownups doing it too. And like, evidently, it's a very common, well-entrenched tradition in this area. There were people who were prepared because they brought cardboard boxes that they had broken down to slide down this hill. And one guy, full-grown man, and I loved it because he was a total kid at heart. He had built an airplane-designed cardboard box contraption to slide down the hill. It was so much fun. I even got in on the action and slid down the hill at the very end. I was not energetic enough to go up and down the hill repeatedly like my kids did. But at the end, I did slide down the hill too to get down the hill. Um, so you'll see some um, imagery there of my kids sliding or rolling down the hill. They had a nice shuttle service um, downtown in, in very old downtowns of small towns, there's sometimes not a lot of parking for big events. So they had two shuttle stops that you could park at for free and ride the shuttle in. It was just such a wonderful experience. I enjoyed riding the shuttle because you also got to interact with other people from the area and just the chit chatting was just so much fun. It reminded me so much of the small town where I grew up. I felt at home in my heart. So um, anyway, I wanna get right to it and show you what all happened that day. 
I would love it. If you are interested in this kind of thing, I highly recommend going to the Facebook group that they have for the Dandridge, Tennessee Scots Irish Festival. It would be worth, even though I live local, I don't have to pay for a hotel. It would be worth it. If I were out of town, I would pay money to get a hotel and come to this from out of town. So if you're curious or interested about that kind of thing, I thought it was worth it. You got to understand it is a small town atmosphere, but if that's your jam, this was the place.
Hi, Joseph. Hang on, Mimi. Here, put your feet. Put, yep. He might roll into those people down there. I hope he stops. <laughs> Yo, you're gonna let your dogs out, Natalie? Now we're having the dog parade. Coming right down the street here. I don't think our dog could handle it. He's much too high strung. That's a gorgeous dog down there. Mm-mm. 